Beneath the frozen wastelands of our planet, ancient threats are beginning to stir. From deadly viruses to toxic weapons long forgotten, the ice is hiding more than just cold secrets. In this video, we'll uncover 10 real dangers buried beneath the ice, ranked from the least to the most terrifying. What lies at the bottom of this list might just change the future of humanity. Number 10. In the vast tundras of Siberia, something strange is surfacing. As the ice retreats, it reveals mass graves of prehistoric animals, mammoths, woolly rhinos, giant bison, perfectly preserved for tens of thousands of years. Some still have intact organs, skin, and fur. Others are so well preserved that hunters illegally extract their ivory and tissue for profit. But beyond the fascination lies a hidden threat. Scientists have found traces of blood, parasites, and ancient bacteria inside these bodies. Some researchers warn that disturbing these remains could expose us to forgotten pathogens, microorganisms our immune systems have never encountered. Add to that the growing black market around these remains, and you have a dangerous mix of science, greed, and microbial time bombs waiting to thaw. For now, these frozen giants are more of a curiosity than a crisis. But as the ground keeps melting, their secrets are literally rising to the surface. That's why this chilling discovery earns its spot at number 10. Fascinating, yes, but it's only the beginning of what's to come. Number 9. As glaciers melt, they're not just revealing ancient animals, they're exposing us. All around the world, from the Alps to the Andes to the Himalayas, the frozen bodies of lost explorers, soldiers, and climbers are reappearing. Some vanished over a century ago. Some are still wearing their gear, and some show injuries that raise more questions than answers. In 2022, a team in Peru discovered the mummified remains of a man who disappeared in the 1980s. His body was so well preserved that it still had fingerprints. In the Swiss Alps, Two missing hikers were found locked in an icy embrace after 75 years. And in Greenland, skeletal remains believed to be from a secret Cold War unit were uncovered, buried beneath decades of ice. These discoveries offer closure to some, but also raise disturbing possibilities. What if some of these people were infected with diseases that froze with them? What if we thaw something we don't understand? That's why this case sits at number nine, haunting, deeply human, and a reminder that not everything buried in the ice should be brought back. Number eight, what if something frozen for thousands of years suddenly started moving again? In Siberia, scientists revived a group of microscopic organisms called rotifers that had been trapped in permafrost for over 24,000 years. Once thawed, they began swimming and reproducing like they had never been frozen at all. But it doesn't stop there. In Alaska and Antarctica, other frozen life forms like moss, algae, and even tiny worms have shown signs of revival. These are called extremophiles, creatures that can survive radiation, freezing temperatures, and even vacuum-like conditions. Some scientists now believe it's possible that viruses or primitive animals, once thought extinct, could re-emerge under the right conditions. The question is, what else is down there? Could larger, more complex organisms also survive a deep freeze? And if so, are we prepared for them? This unsettling reality earns its place at number eight. Not immediately threatening, but a disturbing reminder that nature doesn't always stay buried. Number seven. Deep within glaciers and ancient ice cores, scientists have discovered something unexpected and dangerous, superbugs. These are bacteria that have survived for thousands of years in extreme cold and isolation. And some of them show natural resistance to modern antibiotics. In places like Alaska and Tibet, researchers found dormant microbes that carry genes capable of neutralizing our most powerful drugs. These aren't the result of overused antibiotics. They evolved their resistance before humans ever existed. That means these bacteria developed defense mechanisms we've never seen and have no current way to fight. If climate change continues to melt permafrost and glaciers, 
these microorganisms could be released into rivers, soil, or even the air. In a worst case scenario, they could infect animals or people and spark outbreaks that modern medicine simply can't contain. They haven't caused a disaster yet, but they've shown us that nature already invented antibiotic resistance long before we did. That's why these frozen superbugs take the number seven spot, still buried for now, but just one thaw away from becoming a global nightmare. Number six, in the frozen ground of Siberia and the Arctic Ocean, something is bubbling, literally. Millions of tons of methane gas lie trapped beneath the permafrost and seafloor ice. And as global temperatures rise, that gas is starting to escape. Methane is more than just a greenhouse gas. It's a climate time bomb. It traps over 80 times more heat than carbon dioxide in the short term. In some parts of Russia, lakes have begun to fizz and boil with escaping gas. Researchers have even set patches of ice-covered ground on fire and watched flames shoot from the surface. What makes this so dangerous is the feedback loop. The more ice melts, the more methane escapes. The more methane escapes, the faster the planet heats up. At a certain point, we may not be able to stop it. That's why this invisible threat takes the number six spot, because while we can't see it, it's already reshaping the future of our world. We've seen ancient beasts, hidden microbes, and even explosive gas buried beneath the ice. But from here on out, the risks become far more immediate, more dangerous, more unpredictable, and in some cases, already happening. Let's enter the top five. Number five. In the Siberian tundra, a strange event in 2016 shocked the world. A young boy died, dozens were hospitalized, and over 2,000 reindeer perished. The cause? Anthrax, a deadly bacterium that had been trapped in a frozen reindeer carcass for decades. When a heat wave thawed the permafrost, the spores reactivated and spread like wildfire. But that was just one incident. Scientists believe that ancient burial grounds, used during past outbreaks of smallpox, the plague, and other lethal diseases, are scattered across the Arctic. If the ice melts enough, those pathogens could resurface, intact. Unlike the experimental microbes found in labs, these are proven killers, ones that wiped out entire communities in centuries past. And we're not sure how well modern medicine would hold up against strains that have mutated in the ice. That's why this chilling possibility lands at number five, because it already happened once, and it could happen again on a much larger scale. Number four. In the late 1950s, the US military built a secret base beneath the Greenland ice sheet. Its name was Camp Century, and officially, it was a research station. But in reality, it was part of a covert Cold War project to house nuclear missiles deep under the ice. The project was eventually abandoned and the missiles were never deployed. But what they left behind was far more dangerous. Radioactive waste, diesel fuel, sewage, and toxic chemicals, all buried under what was, at the time, permanent ice. Fast forward to today. That ice is no longer permanent. Climate models suggest that by the end of the century, melting could expose over 200,000 liters of radioactive and chemical waste, leaking into the surrounding environment and potentially contaminating the Arctic Ocean. The scariest part? There's no international plan to clean it up, because officially, it was never supposed to be there. That's why Camp Century takes the number four spot, because what was once buried in secret could resurface as a global environmental disaster. Number three. In 2014, a helicopter crew flying over the Amal Peninsula in northern Siberia spotted something terrifying. A massive, perfectly round crater in the middle of the tundra, over 30 meters wide. It hadn't been there before. Since then, dozens of these craters have appeared across the region. Scientists now believe they're caused by explosive releases of methane gas, gas that had been trapped under layers of permafrost for thousands of years. As the ice melts, pressure builds, until the ground literally erupts. These aren't slow leaks, they're natural landmines. 
Locals have reported hearing thunderous booms before the ground collapses. Some craters are close to gas pipelines, roads, or even villages. And the methane they release doesn't just pose a local threat. It's accelerating global warming at a rate we can't fully predict. This is no longer a theory. It's happening now, and it's only getting worse. That's why the Siberian methane craters claim the number three spot, an unpredictable force from deep within the Earth, bursting through the ice and into our future. Number two. Beneath Antarctica's vast frozen surface lies something few people realize, a massive volcanic field. Scientists have identified over 130 volcanoes buried under the Antarctic ice sheet, some of them still active, and some showing signs of movement. Unlike surface volcanoes, these are invisible to the eye, but their heat is very real. In fact, a 2018 study revealed one area of the West Antarctic ice sheet is melting from below, possibly due to volcanic activity. If just one of these subglacial giants erupts with force, it could trigger a chain reaction, fracturing glaciers, accelerating ice melt, and releasing billions of tons of fresh water into the oceans. The consequences? Rising sea levels, shifting ocean currents, and global climate disruption. On a scale we've never seen, and with rising temperatures destabilizing the region, some experts fear we may be waking up forces that have been dormant for thousands of years. That's why Antarctica's hidden volcanoes earn the number two spot. Because when fire meets ice, the whole world could feel it. Number one. Scattered across the Arctic lies a layer of frozen ground known as permafrost a thick crust of ice, soil, and organic material that's been frozen for tens of thousands of years. But now, it's melting. Fast. And this isn't just about water. Permafrost holds millions of tons of carbon, methane, and organic decay. Not to mention ancient bacteria, viruses, and toxic heavy metals. As it thaws, it's unleashing all of it, at once. Entire landscapes are collapsing. Homes in Siberia are sinking into the ground. Roads in Alaska are warping. And scientists warn that the climate tipping point could be much closer than we thought. The release of all that carbon and methane could create a feedback loop that spirals out of control, warming the Earth faster than we can react. This isn't a distant future. It's already happening. And unlike an eruption or a crater, there's no single moment of impact just a slow, silent unraveling of everything beneath our feet. That's why the collapsing permafrost takes the number one spot. Because it's not just a threat, it's the beginning of a global transformation. 